reading this terrific book Freedom to Change by Frank Pierce Jones and a uh, great section here on startle response or the startle pattern and I used to kind of walk around like this and the more pressure I was under the more I'd kind of lean forward so the pattern of uh, startle which has been studied by high-speed photography is remarkably regular it begins with an eye blink the head is then thrust forward the shoulders are raised and the arms stiffened, abdominal muscles shorten, breathing stops and the knees are flexed. Because the startle response is brief and unexpected, it is difficult to observe and difficult to control. But its chief interest here is that it is a model of other slower response patterns. Fear, anxiety, fatigue and pain all show postural changes from the norm which is similar to those seen in a startle. In all of them there is a shortening of the neck muscles which displaces the head, changes its relationship with the neck and the spine. And it's usually followed by some kind of flexion response, flexing, so that the body is drawn into a slightly smaller space. These responses cannot take place without the prior displacement of the head, changing the head-neck pattern and the shortening of neck muscles. So, Alexander technique is about lengthening the neck muscles, thinking up, lengthening and widening, letting the neck be free so the head can go forward and up and the back can widen and lengthen. Since these responses are much slower than the startle response, they can be changed by controlling the first stage in the pattern, the head displacement, through which the rest of the pattern is propagated.